In Romans chapter 3, in verse 23, it says, all have, anybody got this one memorized? All have sinned and what? Fallen short of the glory of God. The lights don't come back on when we're stuck in our sin. We're born in that stuff and all of us are there. Now, the only thing that still really speaks to the glory of God is the creation of God. I used to love to do this with my kids. Uh, we, we lived out in the country and I, I would step out of the light, out into the darkness, and we'd sit up on the hood of my truck and we'd look up. We'd just lay there and look up at the stars, which every night were just knockout stars. I mean, it, it would just, the, the sky was thick with stars. And I would just be silent and I'd wait for their little voices to say, The Bible says that the heavens declare what? The glory of God. And it's still, it's creation is still like that. Whether it's the glory of the heavens or the glory of you, you, you get up on, a, on the highest cliff you can or the highest mountain that you can, you look over what God made. And even if it's a desert, you can just see the handiwork of God. Everything that God made had that stamp of glory all over it. And then the Bible says when Jesus comes and he starts walking among us, John, when he starts his gospel, he says, we beheld his glory. Glories of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and full of truth. Generation happens to us when we receive Christ by faith. 
Receiving Christ means embracing Jesus as your personal Savior and King. Listen, it's God who came to the rescue. It's God who made us brand new. 